and you can see the sun here is very very bright it's right over my head and the underside of the plane is black dark shadow and as I turn around okay here there's just a little bit of light on the side of the plane now we're back into shadow and you'll see what that looks like in the air now unfortunately it's a little jerky because my computer's not powerful enough to do a screen capture and run the simulator at the highest settings and I should clarify and I'm going to crash just so I can clarify this uh, I'm going to uh, program setup here display I've got everything on high everything's at the highest and I've got all of this turned on I've got sun glow and lens flare turned off um, and if I turn them on, I think it'll probably be even worse. Let's try that. Sun glow, lens flare on, apply, accept. Okay. Now, this is the maximum resolution. And you can see, again, if I turn here, the sun's a little bit over my left shoulder. But mostly, it's still right down on top of me. And now, everything's in shadow. And everything remains in shadow for about 270 degrees and there's a small 90 degree window from about there to there where you got some sun coming over my left shoulder so now let me stop thinking for a second and start flying I can't really narrate and fly too well at the same time okay You can see, I'm just not fly inverted for a second. Okay, so the sky is bright white. The plane is really just a silhouette. It, even no matter where I am, except, except for this 90 degree portion here where there's some sun on the top. There's always, sun, there's always sun on the top of the wing, right? But unless I'm flying below eye level, I don't see that. When I'm flying like one mistake high, For the most part, I'm seeing the bottom of the plane, and I'm seeing black. Here I can see the top of the wing. Now if I hover, now the plane is all black. because the sun is coming directly from on top. And like technically, okay, so here's where the sun actually is. Somewhere in that haze of that cloud, I assume. All right, this is me looking into the sun. Okay, so that's terrible. So I'm going to fly directly away from the sun. Now the sun should be at my back. But even with the sun at my back, it's really hard to do this with the plane jerking around like this. Even with the sun at my back, the plane is mostly flying in shadow. If I hover with the plane there it goes. Now the sun is shining on the plane and hover. Now that plane should be fully illuminated. And it's not. I'm 
Let's see my rolling harrier, such as it is. I haven't really mastered it yet. Whoop. Let's try that a little slower. No, I'm not there yet. And again, if it, with 3D flying, the more I think about it, the worse I do. All right, the sun is at my back, and no matter how I turn the plane, it's, it remains dark, it remains black. And only occasionally do I get a glint of sun. Here, look, I'll knife it, knife edge. All right, the plane on a knife edge, it's all dark. We'll push it around. Oh, or I'll crash it, how about? All right, so now let me get rid of the lens uh, program setup. I'll get rid of the sun flare. I'll get rid of the sun glow, right? And I don't know. What else should I get rid of? I'm not really sure. The rest of this looks pretty normal. Anti-aliasing? Aliasing? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever that is. That seems important. Well, let's take that off. All right, apply, accept. All right, I got rid of the sun glare, the sun glow. Still, plane is dark. It's all black. Fly away from the sun. Is that any better? This jerkiness of the program, um, which is only happening because I'm capturing the screen as I'm flying, is really making it hard to fly the plane. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. So you see what I mean. Hopefully you see what I mean. And it doesn't matter the flying site. doesn't matter the plane. Let's crash this puppy here. Let's change it to... Uh, wake up. Yeah, change it to like a GB, right? Bright yellow plane should really stand out. In fact, and and let's change the flying site. Uh, one that I fly on often is the flying field. This actually looks a little bit like where I fly in real life, so I like this one, so I use this one often. And here you go, bright yellow plane, beautiful clear day. So that doesn't look too bad. However, now that it's, now it's sort of, all right. Into the tree. Oh, I missed the tree. Good for me. <laughs> Terrible flying. Okay. You can see we're like a silhouette. A little touch and go action. A little slow roll. I don't know. I'm really flying poorly because of this jerkiness. This is going to be a very long video. No one's going to want to watch this. All right, let's 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 skip this GB thing for a second here. I want to just change it to a... Uh, where's that desert? 
Uh, is this the one? No. Oh, that's a lovely plane. Okay, here we go. Desert Extra. The Desert Aircraft Extra. All right. Very bright colors. But you see the whole lower half of the plane is completely in shadow. There's no ambient light, hardly any ambient light. So the sun is directly overhead. Look where the shadow is. Right? What 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 hang on a second here. Alright, so this you can see the shadow is directly under the plane practically. You know, this sun is right at twelve o'clock high. So as a result of that, like even the vertical stabilizer is just dark most of the time. Uh, I'm flying poorly. Oi, oi. I'm going to crash this $3,000 plane here. Level off, Bob. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, like I would really try this with a $5,000 plane because that's what happens. 